Hello everyone, good morning, I'm Varun. Welcome to part 3 of application demonstrating Spring Boot security with crude operations using Spring Boot, RESTful APIs, Hibernate, JP and MySQL. In my previous two videos, I've shown how uh, end-to-end -end RESTful crude API with Sprint security looks like, how one has to enter the basic authorization credentials in Postman along with the URL for the application to work. In my second URL, I've uh, sorry, in my second video, I've explained that I'll be building my Spring Boot security logic on top of a RESTful crude application. So I've basically imported a RESTful crude application from GitHub into Eclipse IDE. Now this part 3 is continuation wherein I will build the model classes for security and also implement the interface which extends the JPA repository. So let's proceed with the coding. First step I'll do is I'll build the class user. Okay, this class I'll use annotation entity. Entity basically, uh, entity annotation basically tells that the class is a table representation in a database. Whatever fields that are defined in this class, the same columns are created in the table of a database. Okay, other definitions is like whatever instance we create in an entity it corresponds to a row in the table so that's about the definition of entity next uh, i need to import this dependencies you can write two ways of doing it either right click quick fix and import entity java x dot persistence or if i say control z the other way is by pressing alt plus shift plus o okay if you press alt control control sorry 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 this is control uh, control plus shift plus o okay it will prompt you to load the necessary dependencies select the person's first one and click finish okay now i've shown you how to import the dependencies the next step is to now, I've told you that entity annotation tells that this class is a table representation in a database. Now, how, what should be the name of the table? I'll, that I'll define by using the annotation table name equals user. Okay, again, import the necessary dependencies. Okay, now I'll define the fields uh, private long ID. Next, I define private uh, string username. Next, I define private string password. Okay, and last, I define private set role roles. Now, this class basically contains the role class, basically contains the roles. What do I mean by roles? If I create a user ID, say user with username Varun, this user ID can be either admin or a user. So what is the role of that user I'll be defining in this class? Since I'm getting this error, what I'll do is first I'll define a class called role. Okay, let me just define this class called role and save it. Now we will 
this error will be gone. Let me import this dependency for set, which is from java.util. Dot set. Okay. Now I need to use the setter and getter method. So I'll go to source and you click on this generate getter and setters. Select all and click OK. Now have the getter and setter methods for this variable. This ID field I want to be unique, so I make use of the annotation called Adurate ID. Also, whenever a record is inserted into the database table, I want this field to be unique, so I'll make use of the annotation generated value strategy equals generation type dot auto okay uh, I need to import the necessary dependencies so let me import them all right so now this ID annotation tells that this ID field should be unique and generated value is out auto which tells that this value will be incremented automatically whenever a row is inserted into the database okay the next step is to define the condition or use the make use of annotation many to many why many to many is the question now okay I this assume there is a user ID called Varun this user ID can have either admin or user role so also a user in user table can be uh, multiple users so multiple users can have multiple roles so that is the reason I am defining a many to many uh, condition then I define join table name equals user underscore role then to this I define join what is this I'll explain shortly columns equals at the rate join column name equals user underscore id comma inverse join columns equals I'll just copy this Uh, it will be role underscore id uh, let me import the dependencies uh, due to some reason I'm I'm not getting that uh, so let me again paste let me put the joint table and the join column okay so now now what it does what this definition of many to many annotation and joint table does I've told you why I'm using many to many annotation and the joint table what it does is it will create a new table called user underscore role wherein there will be two columns one is user underscore id and the role underscore id this user underscore id is nothing uh, is nothing but as mapped to id field of this user table and the role underscore id will be mapped to the id of the role class which i will define shortly 
uh, at the end I will show you how the tables looks like okay uh, so this completes my definition of user next I define the role class again I make use of the annotations entity at the rate entity here table name should be role okay then I define three fields private long ID private string name private set user and users okay uh, let me import the this dependency next I'll create the setter and the getter methods so right click on any of the fields go to source generate getter and setters select all okay and now again for this get uh, there are few annotations how again this id should be unique so i'll make use of the annotation at the rate id again I'll make use of the same generated value strategy equals auto so I'll just copy paste this this tell this tells that this field should be unique and this automatically increments the value whenever something a row is inserted into the table okay next uh, if you remember in my user class, I have defined a many to many relationship with this roles table. Similarly, with the users, I should define a many to many relationship. So for that, I use many to many. I'll say mapped by equals roles. Input the necessary dependencies and save. So with this, my role class is defined. Next, let me define the interface implementing the JPA repositories for these two class. So in this repository table, right click new interface give the name as user repository click finish okay this one extends jpa repository repository to which I pass user comma long okay I need to import the necessary dependencies save so this uh, okay what is JPA JPA stands for java application uh, sorry java persistence api which allows us to maintain persistence between class and the database also it allows us to manage data between a class and a database it was basically defined as part of ejb 3.0 and it's a replacement for entity java beans 2 or cmp called entity bean specification 
This is a standard approach now. Using JPA, we manage the data between the classes and the database. So, I have implemented an interface which extends JPA repository in Spring Boot and to which I have passed the user class. Similarly, I will define role repository new interface name is role repository click finish so again this should extend gpa repository however this is for class role so i just need to okay save all right so in this demo i have built a model class user which contains the id username and password for authentication and also the roles of that user which is defined in the class role for again for these two classes i have defined the repository uh, you can run okay you can run or do a maven build to check if the whatever we built till now was error free so right click do a maven build and you can see in the console okay the build is success so uh, that's it from mine in this demo in my next demo i will show how to implement the user detail service of spring boot and the authentication manager class code of authentication manager and etc so that's it from my end for this demo thank you